Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for BTS Sugar and BTS Jin and their friendship between the two. I wanted to find out what kind of theme I'd be looking at today for these two. Um, and we have your blessed, we have nurturing, compassionate, I feel your pain. So somebody can relate to the other here. There's some desire to do something or towards someone. There's also author or writing, looking beyond the surface and details. And then we have a broken heart, regret, let down and interference. So it looks like there may be someone else that's in this mix here that may be causing potential problems here. Some interference, somebody regrets something, a broken heart, they've let somebody down and I feel they really feel that pain. So let's see, what do we have? Oh, the magician, okay. So the Magician and the Four of Wands. So this could be somebody manifesting. Um, they've mastered all the elements, so they have all the tools in their toolbox. This is Mercury energy. This is what you think about, okay, um, your thoughts. And let's see here, we also have the Four of Wands, which is also could be happy home life, could be a holiday celebration, harmony within that love and the home. Love is in the air. It also could mean the potential love interest here. So somebody may have already manifested something here to happen. Somebody may have some desire here, but there's that letdown and interference and some type of betrayal here with the Ten of Swords. So, <laughs> steep wounds here. Some type of betrayal, painful ending, this heartbreak here, this broken heart here. Somebody maybe stabbed somebody in the back. Could be an ending, could also be fear. So let's have a look and see what comes up next. Hmm. The Three of Cups. Okay, so this could be a friend. This could be a sister or brotherhood. Could be a collaboration uh, within a team environment. Could be a unity. Could also be some success here. So somebody betrayed you, um, Jin or um, Shiga. So somebody feels like they've been betrayed, okay? They feel like they've been betrayed. Some type of brotherhood or sisterhood has happened here. Somebody's kind of didn't go along with everybody else on what what was discussed, I feel. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be um, being obsessed about something, uh, having some type of loss. Could be money financially, could be others. Yeah, somebody wants to give up on something here with the Nine of Wands in reverse. There may be a lot of challenges and they may not wanna keep going on that over and over and over. There is a pentacle offer here. So an offer to somebody here, but it's slow and steady wins the race. What else do we have here? This is somebody that's hardworking long-term plans they have that they're looking at. They're gonna take their time. It may feel like they've given up on you. 
but they're still coming in with something but it is slow coming yeah somebody may have been at a crossroads here at some point and knight of wands there's that desire but it can also mean that it is here for a good time not necessarily a long time and with the two of wands accompanying that somebody may have been held back because of their in and out behavior that might be something they're meant to learn it looks like this king of pentacles has betrayed somebody here or somebody feels like they are being betrayed by someone in their family in their unit this could be their work unit this could be their home unit they feel like it's home with these people now with their a brotherhood and they're very close and they all work together with the BTS clan. It could also be one of the people in the group has felt like they were betrayed about something. It has to do uh, with the loss, losses. challenges here still working through it but going slow getting to a point where they're at a crossroads wanting to come in um, of course the knight of wands is about action and the knight of wands I kind of feel like it's some type of could be alternative plans could be a stranger is arriving it could be some type of dis, uh, disruption of some sort it could be a good disruption could be bad traveling somebody has to travel somewhere to get to a certain destination here and with the two of wands in reverse or yeah two of wands in reverse somebody may have been held back yeah because they haven't cleared out this third person this interference this has not closed out this cycle and it needs to be closed out before things can change so let's just get a couple cards here i just want to get a, a little bit more here so somebody may not have listened uh, when somebody was saying let's let's have this pack or let's let's all do this and everybody was for it um, but somebody wasn't so much they may not have listened to it or decided that they didn't need to worry about it they've got the world in their hands or they felt maybe that they would be the exception breathe so maybe needing to meditate this is number 11 with the ascended masters I feel so let's see if I got room to do that yep okay <laughs> all right so let's get some clarifiers on this and let's see what's on the bottom of this deck fork in the road okay so I feel like number four here this has to do about stability has to do with structure and manifestations which makes sense with the magician here so let's clarify these cards for gin and sugar because they had i feel like they had some type of disagreement here but somebody's manifest something here maybe manifested some type of protection on the group or some type of different perspective what's the four of wands why is the four of wands here hmm. yeah somebody made the right judgment call here um that was gonna make everybody happy when it came to these two like they figured out a way to have this work okay i mean the ten of cups is the happiest you can be and i feel like they it was some form of kind of protection this different outlook 
on something I'm trying to make the better judgment calls when it comes to the group but why is this ten of swords here and of course with the ten that is completion and end of a cycle hmm somebody didn't have passion ace of wands in the reverse though i mean that's a lack of direction so somebody here why is the ace of wands here with the ten of pentacles the fool in reverse somebody didn't trust something here the fool in reverse that's too risky something was too risky they didn't feel any passion towards whatever happened here somebody just kind of went against something here didn't believe in it or didn't trust it that's that despondence card there just kind of just didn't want to listen to what was going on what's this three of cups oops that's too many spirit what's the three of cups here this celebration three of cups this brotherhood this teamwork success and victory what is this yeah. ah, page of pentacles in reverse okay so somebody doesn't have any focus or direction right now it's the king of pentacles in reverse that's a loss Ooh, everything is fine no not so much so it looks like somebody's going against their better judgment here um, on something that is they don't trust they're not passionate about I feel like it's something that is a delay or some type of lack of direction here too risky the page of Pentacles in reverse no focus and lack of direction on that as well when it comes to a brotherhood this king of pentacles in reverse is having some type of loss here and everything is fine i don't think so they may feel betrayed by somebody here for some reason yeah, okay some queen of cups here this king of pentacles maybe or this queen of cups take it how it resonates for them may have caused some type of betrayal here between somebody why is the queen of cups here mm, somebody wanted long term with somebody or somebody's financial um, prospects something they were saving for somebody may have robbed the other person here betrayed them by taking some money what what is this nine of wands? Uh, yeah, nine of wands here, spirit. What's the nine of wands for gin and sugar when it comes to these two? So it looks like it might have been a woman that came between the two, or somebody showing up in there. Oh, this is a new person. So this is a new person that's bringing in challenges here. It looks like. Ooh. yeah the hierophant spirit might be stepping in here somebody may even be married here trying to take somebody's pentacles by stabbing them in the back here that's a broken heart regret and let down interference so I feel like somebody didn't want to, maybe broke somebody's heart let them down um, because they were going after someone else here but they were going after them to cause more of the ten of swords some type of betrayal some type of deceit it has to do with money somebody may be already married too why does the knight of pentacles and the hermit here why are they here for sugar and gin 
Don't tell me this had to do with a girl. Ah, some secrets were revealed here. Okay, so uh, I see. Okay, so somebody wants to reconcile here. They may have done some healing work. They've taken their time with some type of offer, but they don't feel like they're going to get a victory because some type of truth is coming out. Let's see. What's the crossroads? Somebody doesn't know what to do or which way to go now. Two of swords, please. Two of swords. Two of swords for Shaga and Jin, please. Yeah. Ah, the Emperor in reverse. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so with the Emperor in reverse, this is somebody that might be controlling, won't compromise about a direction once they make that final decision. What is the Knight of Wands here? This is all action things, so they're taking action here. Yeah, they're, this person's good. There is desire. They want to come in with some type of desire here. I have a lot of desire for somebody with the Knight of Wands. I mean, that's definitely possibly travel plans or somebody's, they're um, independent and feel like they're getting their wishes fulfilled here. They're all good all on their own. They're satisfied with the way things are going with the Nine of Cups here. This is somebody that is content. A sense of well-being here. But with the Knight of Wands here, I kind of feel like um, whoever this is, may have different plans. Uh, this emperor might have chosen a road already. It has to do with desire and maybe pouring into themselves. With the two of wands in reverse, somebody's being held back for something here. What's the two of wands in reverse? Page of wands in reverse. Okay. So, this is somebody that's being impatient when it comes to having being held back here. They're being impatient. There there could even be some emotional trauma still left here for someone. That could be why the emperor's in reverse. He could be upset. Yeah, he may have had some losses here. Doesn't have the money now to give an offer to someone else. Wow. What's... Ah, uh, yeah. See, something's not ending like it's meant to. Somebody needed to close out some type of, of cycle. They know they've been betrayed more than once. And it looks like somebody may have wanted to offer... It looks like both of them maybe wanted to offer something. One was too risky and some one broke one heart for the other. And I feel like they let this person, this Queen of Cups in reverse, this codependent person who is looking for money and stability here with the Seven of Pentacles, something long term, and even marriage possibly. This is a new person that's come in that's bringing in some challenges here. Something is being revealed. And it may have to do with this Emperor in reverse. And it looks like some karmic something or other is happening here because the king of pentacles and the emperor are both in reverse and i feel like this queen of cups may have done a number on both of them um i don't believe it was revealing something about a woman the last time and we couldn't figure out why they were fighting to begin with and it had something to do with um an argument and it may have been about 
something that everybody had agreed on. And then this Queen of Cups came in here and both masculines got taken for a ride or hurt by this. They both feel each other's pain, compassionate towards one another because of their brotherhood. And I feel like somebody lost a, a great amount of money in this venture with this person and it had to do with desire here that made someone choose to do what they chose to do. This was a new person and they were looking to get married here, but they've just brought in a lot of challenges here, claiming maybe they were healed, wanting to give an offer to this emperor who didn't know which direction to go. It's looking at this person maybe with desire and wish fulfillment but they're being held back because this person got taken for a ride. So did someone else here. Could have been this emperor, but it also could be someone else in their group. Some type of betrayal. This person had no passion, felt it was too risky to take a leap of faith with somebody here. It was all about betrayal. This could have been the thoughts about taking um, this masculine for a ride. And I feel like the emperor's been there before. So that could be where this person feels their pain and, you know, consoles them. Whether it's Shuga or Jin, I'm not sure because the king of pentacles in reverse is here and the emperor's in reverse. Somebody gets betrayed. It could be these ones here that knows this Queen of Cups, knows maybe what she was after, knows something about her. Could be the Emperor that takes action here and decides about something for the group, about these secrets that are coming out. Maybe so, tells this King of Pentacles in reverse not to give an offer or this Emperor doesn't want to give an offer either could be between the two of them and it's about looking beyond the surface because it has to do with money desire regret and let down and interference so somebody's interfered here between these two to have them fighting. And I feel like there was some type of agreement in the group and somebody maybe made a mistake and it cost them something here. So let's look at the love cards because I love these cards. They tell us a little bit more. What's the hanged one here and the magician? Somebody got a different perspective about things here. Yeah, about making healthy choices when it comes to love and life, about self-care, self-love, being happier. Yeah, focusing on self-worth. And I feel like that was what they all decided they would do. It would They would do the healing work, they would do the shadow work, and they would... Uh, show themselves appreciation. Oops. I'll take that one. I saw it. Interest conversing more. Awaiting message. Arrive text. Email call or hovering. So somebody is talking to somebody but feels maybe they were betrayed by this person in the past. They have no desire to take a leap of faith with them. They feel it can't be trusted. And they're right, because that Ten of Swords is out there. So this may have been this ten, uh, King of Pentacles who decided not to take this leap of faith with this person. And then we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, which is no focus, lack of direction with the Three of Cups. And I feel like this is that sister or brotherhood I feel like more the brotherhood because it is Jin, Jin and Sugar, and I kind of feel 
this brotherhood was kind of um, lost focus somewhere here. Maybe some outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in their head. So they may have been thinking certain things at the time. So this Queen of Cups here, there is the Ten of Cups here, but somebody may not have said anything at first. Ooh, the ending, the Grim Reaper is here. This relationship is over. No second chances. Growth and transform your life. And lightning, sudden change, shocking news, epiphany, surprise, upheaval, and transformation. And it looks like um, this... Queen of Cups that's in the reverse here is codependent on somebody's money, uh, but plan to, uh, and even though everything is fine, there's still some type of betrayal or deceit here. And this is, this is ending for this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups. There is a big tower moment here. Spirits like, yeah, hell to the no. Hello. <laughs> so why is the Hierophant here? Somebody has the higher, maybe, oh, an empath, a narcissist. So this new person could be this Queen of Cups, uh, is new to, the, to this group, maybe is already married, is a narcissist. So they're trying to use them they're bringing in challenges, so yeah, boundaries, maybe their boundaries were down um, when it came to someone here, a new person, maybe the spiritual, somebody spiritual, but they're bringing in some type of um, some type of conflict or some type of change here. What is the narcissist card here? The girl with the snake. Yeah, stabbing somebody in the back. Heartbreak. Separation. So it could be that this person comes in on the attack here just to um, cause heartbreak and pain with this narcissist or this narcissist is coming in to do that to this king of pentacles but something's coming to light here oh somebody goes for um a conversation or a meeting they're feeling uplifted with this person this is a offer a slow and steady offer somebody that's healed um somebody that is uh, wanting to reconcile here but some secrets have come out here maybe well that somebody was talking to somebody for coffee what's the emperor in reverse ah so this queen of cups could have tried to seduce this emperor at one point as well and he's deciding which direction to go in why is seduction here Ah, this could have been somebody that this emperor is missing. They're looking at photos, missing you. Make They want to make new memories. They think about the seduction or sex at, from, at one point. There is desire and wish fulfillment here. So let's see. Sunglasses, watch, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Yeah, somebody here was just stalking, um, gaslighting, and be trying to betray them, giving, they're, they're coming up like, they're not, um, let's see, what else for sunglasses here, why is the sunglasses here, so there's a gaslighting here, now whether that is this queen of cups, yeah, because somebody wants to seduce somebody here, they miss somebody here, this emperor misses this Queen of Cups here. But somebody new comes in, maybe to get revenge on this King of Pentacles here. Somebody finds something out here. 
uh, about some type of seduction or somebody missing somebody here. So they're wanting to gaslight or stalk them and try to get them to meet them and take them out on a date here. But there's no pentacle here. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Why is it in reverse then? Whoa, 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 just one. We have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So I feel like maybe with this talk here, they realize that moving on is their best bet because otherwise they're going to be held back and they could lose more money with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a lack mindset or they actually do lose money if they decide to go with this person. So it looks like there was a girl here that got in between the two men. So yeah, somebody's gonna try to butter somebody up by giving them love calls. Yeah, but they're just gaslighting. They wanna get them on this date. There are a narcissist. There is revenge here by stabbing them in the back. It was like a shocking attack. And it was not, um, I feel like, it wasn't expected here. Yeah, kisses and claiming there's love, but they're wearing a mask. I mean, I can't make it up. This is what is going on here. It, so somebody came between them, but this cycle is not ended out until somebody actually says goodbye. And it, they could be anywhere in this timeline here. They could already be at this point where they just have to say, no, I'm not going back to this person. Okay. I know what they're doing. I see that they're love bombing. I see that they're no good for me. And this person does because they are not going to give into this love call when it comes in. But Jin or sugar has to end out the cycle and it looks like both of them have to not just one but the other to both decide to um, not delay this any longer even though they don't want or they're un it's an unwanted change or there's fear here about ending out the cycle but this cycle has to end for a new one to begin so and that is totally up to them what they decide to do. But this will affect their stability with the number four here. So, hmm, let's see what else we have. Who has this got to do with here? Let's get three cards, please. Three cards for Suga and Jin and their friendship. One more card for Suga and Jin. Thank you. And the bottom of the deck, we have Magician and the Mirror. So somebody might be doing moon magic. We have eight here, which is mastery, action, and resolution. So somebody may be manifesting in a mirror. Um, I would look that up before I started doing anything like that about protection and how to protect yourself before you do any of that work. All right, and we have community. So this is their little community, These, this boy group, right? Or guy group or men group or whatever you wanna call it. Um, with number seven, there's some reflection within this uh, group that needs to happen, some assessment, some knowledge, maybe even something spiritual. So there is that community there. There are financial constraints. So somebody's financial constraints, number four again, that stability was um, affected. And then we have indecision, which shows that so bad in here <laughs> with the fork in the road and not uh, closing out the cycle. And this is a number eight again. This is action to end this cycle out, okay? So there we have it for Suga and Jin. We have eight, eight here. Um, so, wow. So a woman got in between the two men here and caused a conflict between the two. 
So somebody had a letdown and a broken heart here. There was desire. Somebody looked into things more, talked to other people, and some secrets came out here. So I feel like they both consoled each other, the two men, uh, Suga and Jin, because they could feel each other's pain. And I mean that because one went through it and the other one went through it, and they both know what it's like to go through something like that had to do with money yet again. Um, I feel for celebrities, I really do, because if they aren't already in a love match when they become famous, um, it would be really hard to see if somebody was just after their money. You know, it'd be hard to tell what their motive or their intention was when coming in. Was it for me or was it for my money? Uh, what was it for, right? So with fear, that's just false evidence that appears real. So <sighs> losing the fear here and then coming together in this brotherhood bond that they have, I feel like Jin and Suga are going to be just fine when it comes to the two of them. I feel like they'll hatch out their differences, and I feel like both of these men are going to say hell to the no when it comes to this woman, this Queen of Cups that is codependent. So big indecisions here, um, hitting their constraints, their foundation, and I feel like that really wakes somebody up here. And the other one is there when this happens or um, also gets wrapped up in this <laughs> and betrayed. So take out what resonates for Jin and Suga. And let's get a couple more messages with the butterfly cards. Just a couple. It's good. Healing from the past. Yes, that is what needs to occur here. We did see the hermit here. We also have a new career. And we also have adult children. So I don't think these guys have adult children. But they definitely have to heal from the past. They could be the adult children now. And uh, looking at their past and maybe even looking at different career mindsets. I mean, these guys are pretty talented. They are singers, songwriters, actors, producers, you name it, they do it. And they're not afraid to try something new. And they're not afraid of risk. They're putting themselves out there. And a new career might blossom from this. So after all of this. So maybe they end up writing a song about this girl that they ended up both being attracted to. Who knows, right? <laughs> but it could come out with something new, maybe even a t-shirt saying or <laughs> who knows, right? But something comes out of it. Yeah, it has to do with this relationship dynamic. I can't make this shit up, I swear. You know, so there is some type of relationship dynamic here that they definitely choose something new to go down. Um, a, even though they have all these things going on, um, I feel like this could be successful for them. And it has to do, it might even be with um, how to deal with the narcissist book or <laughs> I don't know, an ebook or who knows, it might be the re, um, whatever they've been through, how you know if they actually love you or if they want you for your money, here's what you can look out for. It could be a how-to book, <laughs> how to get around a narcissist or something along those lines. What happens if the girl is the narcissist or I don't know, something to do with this relationship dynamic. And it may not be with this girl. It may have to do with the boy group in general and this brotherhood. So, I mean, it could be just about anything, but it's going to have to do with some type of relationship dynamic, whether it's the boy group itself or about dating as a celebrity and how hard that is to figure out 
what their intentions really are or whatever. Um, I feel like there's something here new that's going to come up because of this experience. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, that's what I have for sugar and gin. And yeah, um, I think this is great because there's a lesson learned in all this. Even though there was hurt, betrayal, a broken heart, they dug into it, talked to other people, and found out what was what here and what the whole idea behind it was and why. And it all had to do with money and seduction and gaslighting and stalking and backstabbing and <laughs> realizing what is good using what intuition I feel so yeah this was really good I like this for them because now we know what the problem was because I don't feel it actually told us what they were fighting about all right so <laughs> at first it seemed like they were fighting about somebody broke a trust here but then when this girl shows up that tells me that this girl was the whole reason this all went down so anyways <laughs> uh please like share and subscribe give me that thumbs up if you like my readings and uh yeah comment if you want um i do have my um request list so put it in the comments I'm trying to go through all the comments again to write up another list I've been doing some of the readings that are um, quite popular so I've been trying to do some of those and this was one I was interested in because of what happened in the last reading I wanted to find out why and and it told us exactly why so <laughs> thank you spirit <laughs> so I loved it I think this really uh, strengthened somebody's um, friendship here within this boy group here these two Shiga and Jin I think they're a lot closer or they will get closer because of this experience so Anyways, guys, <laughs> take care, stay blessed, and we will see you next time. Later!